This is a cyanotype workshop with Ekaterina Smirnova. Cyanotype is a photographic printing process that produces a cyan blue print. You will need two chemicals, ferric ammonium citrate and potassium ferric cyanide. I follow the instructions provided on the container and have premixed dry powdered crystals with water and I keep them in a amber colored glass because this is the glass that is protected from UV light. I need to mix both of the liquids in equal amounts and place them in a separate container. After mixing both of the liquids, they will become sensitive to ultraviolet light. And the ultraviolet light is very important for the process of cyanotype. I'm using a regular glass jar and the foil around it is just basically preventing the light to come and activate the liquid. So look, it's a greenish liquid and just try to keep it always in a dark place if you're not using. It is recommended to premix the liquid right before you would apply it on the paper. Sponges work best for applying the liquid, but you could also use a brush. This stage of the process it is recommended to do in a dark place because the emulsion is very sensitive to light. The goal is to apply this liquid the best way possible because if you will be reapplying it and correcting this will create texture that will show on your print. Paper is very important also. Preferably you would use paper that is very well sized. This means that you can wash out anything on the paper easier. Some papers are more absorbent and that is not so good for cyanotype either. You can see there is a little puddle formed. If you were to leave it like that, it will also show on the print. So I'm just trying to move it around. The next step is to allow this paper fully dry in a dark place. Plants work really well for cyanotype. This is my paper that I pre-dried and kept in a dark place. And now it's the time to have fun. I place any objects on my paper and the next step is to bring them for the UV light exposure. You could use a transparent plexiglass to keep the objects closer to the surface. The color of the paper will be changing very fast, that means that the UV light is activating it. I wait till the color will turn darker blue-green and observe. The area that was blocked with an object still stays green and the rest that the UV light was activating has changed in a darker color. So the yellower color that was originally used will be washed away. Just simply bring it to the water stream and wash for a few minutes. You could also leave them in the water to soak in to remove all of the excess of the liquid. And here is our result. The color blue will be changing into a more intense over some time. I really enjoy the process of cyan type. You can have a lot of fun with it, especially in the summer. If you have any questions or recommendations, feel free to comment to this video and visit my website ekaterina-smirnova.com.